Okay, in this video I'm going to look at two quick applications of convolution. So let's recall that convolution has this property, that if you take the Laplace transform of F uh, convolved with G, you get Laplace transform of F times the Laplace transform of G. Um, okay, good. And so you might think that uh, the best thing to do here would be to like take a derivative with respect to t of both sides and turn this integral equation to, to a differential equation, but you'll end up with a little bit of a problem. You'll get y prime on this side, you'll get 1 on this side, but then this will collapse a bit because when you take the derivative with respect to t, you're going to plug t in for tau, but you'll get t minus 0, which will be 0, and that will make a lot of the information disappear. And if we solve it this other way, we'll see we'll get the correct solution. So we, we, we want... So what we want to first notice is the following, that this is the same thing as saying y equals t minus the convolution of y convolved with the function, which is just t. Okay, good. Now we can take the Laplace transform of both sides. So we'll do L of y equals L of t minus L of y convolution t. We'll use this formula up here and we'll also use the notation that the convol or sorry that the Laplace transform of y is capital Y. Then we get this is 1 over s from a standard fact. And now this is going to be minus the Laplace transform of y times the Laplace transform of t. So that's going to be y over s. Okay, so from here, we'll multiply the whole thing by s, and we'll get s times y equals 1 minus y, which will give us s times y plus y equals 1, which notice we can factor a y out of this, and we get uh, y equals 1 over s plus 1 factoring a y and then dividing and now taking the inverse Laplace transform of both sides so we have y equals the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1 but then looking at a standard chart that's going to be e to the minus t okay good so now let's go on to this one so this one is almost exactly the same, except it's just disguised a little bit. It says evaluate this integral instead of solving this equation. So I'm going to evaluate this integral just by setting, setting it equal to y, and then taking the Laplace transform of both sides, doing the work in the Laplace transform world, and then um, taking the inverse Laplace transform. So what we'll first notice is that this is also a convolution. So this is e to the minus t convolution sine of t. Now when we take the Laplace transform, we get the following, so we'll call it capital Y, that's the Laplace transform of little y, so that's going to be the Laplace transform of e to the minus t times the Laplace transform of sine t, again using this orange boxed uh, formula. I have a video where I prove this formula, by the way, if you want to look for it. And now this is going to be 1 over s minus 1 times 1 over s squared plus 1. Okay, great. Now the next thing that we can do is we can apply partial fractions. So uh, I'm not going to worry about doing partial fractions in detail because this is like for a differential equations class and you probably have a feel for how to do partial fractions pretty well on a function like that. So I'm going to try this trick um, that I just learned recently in order to do the partial fractions um, really quickly. So let's see if it works. <laughs> Oh, it looks like it worked. We've got the partial fraction decomposition. So now what we can do is just read off a Laplace transform chart, which I'll let you look one of those up. They're easy to find. And notice that we'll get y is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of all of those. So that's going to be 1 half e to the minus t minus 1 half. Now that one is uh, cosine of t and then plus 1 half and that one is sine of t. And that's our final answer. So y is equal to that, and so that means that's the value of this integral. So that's a much quicker way of doing that integral than what you would have to do um, otherwise, which would be a two-step integration by parts kind of thing. Okay, so this is the end of the video.